was supposed to play, but... but uh, yeah, I've, I've been tinkering with the... Uh, uh, just one, two, three... Three, four, five! Okay, the, uh, the audio was being lessened due to uh, something I put in to uh, avoid... The, basically, I tinker things around to have the audio from you and me lowered whilst the intro should be playing. But apparently the intro didn't start up this time. And if I'm going to activate it now, it's going to play over everything. So let's just leave it at that then. <laughs> okay. Uh... Hmm. Anyways then. Uh, hello anyone who is watching now or later. Welcome to Hillian. Sub to me, Hillian, along with... Turkir, along with Necrobob. <laughs> yeah, this guy here, who I'm not... <laughs> I'm trying to think that I think the necromancers in game actually look different to this, but oh well. Anyways, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah we're doing a catch up today because we were supposed to stream yesterday, but uh, yeah, I, I was just not in the good enough health to really stream, so I'll just leave it at that. Uh, I'll still set this thing on stage two. Anyways, yeah, we've gotten quite far into the game already by now. I'm not sure if we've passed the halfway point already or so. Just hmm. lost that. I'm not sure if you have... Either you pause halfway point or you're approaching halfway point. Uh, let's see. And also, people, I just... Re I just told Hillian before we start the stream, I just something dawned on me after so many years. Like, last time I mentioned this g game reminds me of so much sword and sorcery. Like, many of their games remind me of sword and sorcery. Then I just realized, Might and Magic is literally by name sword and sorcery. Where's that? There's the robo. Okay, yeah a bit to find that thing again because we have to go this way and yeah what's there really to say about what happened last time during a four hour stream uh yeah we started the game uh stone keep yeah not st or stone helm oh, was man. it yeah <laughs> got its ass kicked by or what not really it it's uh the necromancer a necromancer army laid siege to it uh, and then they snuck in with the help of a trader, wizard robe. I'm not sure if we've got that one. Uh, the the errant. Um, I'm blanking on the name for a moment. The, the the important crystal, the MacGuffin, got stolen. So we had to chase after that. And now we're on an island looking for, well, not looking for, but searching through a temple and the surrounding areas for an artifact called the Skull of Shadows, which is tied to a prophecy relating to the Dark Messiah, of which uh, it is suspected that Errant here, the leader of the uh, Necromancers, is the uh, so-called Dark Messiah. And the heck do we need to go? Yeah, I wish they think he is the one, but they think he's, uh, he is supposed to be part of the prophecy. No, it would be weird if he was the, the Dark Messiah, considering Necromancers hate demons. They they willing to alliance themselves with orcs and such, which has demonic origin. But actual demons they do not like. Yeah, we're going to have to clear out our inventory a bit. And I think we are going I think we might as well chuck out these poison crystals because they deal less damage, even if they take more to actually, yeah, they actually have a higher skill requirement. Yeah. I'm not it sure about the poison. Like in here. Uh, yeah, first off, we're going to have another dance with the freaking spiders. Uh, we're going to do a tango polka. Yeah, Why do like I, I just imagine a spider trying to do polka? It, what people say that might probably look horrifying. <laughs> that also. Okay, for a moment I thought I heard a spider in this direction, but <laughs> that also works, setting off to trap ourselves. Yeah. Do you. 
So your spiny senses are tingling then. Oh, oh come on. There we go. Luckily, the fire traps are powerful enough to take them out. Yeah. Bad timing oh, on that. I, I just realized something about the sounds they do. Yeah, th those are the sounds they have been having in every Might and Magic game. There we go. What? What? Why did the spiders do the Medusa scream? Uh, don't ask me, because I want to deal with these things the least amount as possible. Health potion, antidote, and raw garlic. So just food. Yeah, you, re you really need to... <laughs> you really can't get through this area without using the night vision spell so much, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually unsure if this... Color is better for night vision or not compared to? Oh, hello. No, that's a bone. Compared to the usual green. Good question. Hmm. I guess it sort of emulates like what dark vision is supposed to be, uh, which in most games dark vision leads to uh, more black and white sight, I believe. Yeah, dude, this one looks a bit... I think the, the blueness is to be look more magical. Oop. Um, right, I remember this. The... The heck? We just accidentally <laughs> throw that into the floor or something. Uh, you threw it into... Hill. G good job, Hillian. Good job. You just broke a house. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, I recall being able to creep up closer to that, but apparently I was wrong about that. Uh, yeah. I believe this is actually the only place where we'd ever have, like, a building actually crumbling around us. So, let's just be careful again, chuck as much weight out as we can. And then we can grab the armor that's over there, because I think that's plate or something. Yeah, you have your armor, yeah. Or actually, why... We have this. Goodbye. Yep, not enough mana. Come on. Yoink. What was that? Um, do we even have it? Our inventory is almost full. Uh, yeah, plate armor. We need endurance too for that, but uh, we'll be getting to that eventually since we have this maxed out now. Uh, that actually make, uh, what can we chuck away? Because there's still that th box there. Uh, we don't really have a need for too many shields. So let's chuck that one. Uh, Ring of Might. Ring of. We're not using much magic. Uh, pickaxe. We can ditch. Sanctuary, Gunning Chris, we, we can dark, dump that one as well. I don't know. Yeah, we're <laughs> chucking it over the edge here. <laughs> uh, what is that? Uh, health potion. Uh, come on. Why are you not reacting to it? We know we can clo open and close these boxes. Like, why are you. Okay. Like, really, why are us... Hmm. I, I really want to know what the hell is in this thing. Hmm. Actually, something we can do... ...is to just put up some rope arrows, because... <laughs> yeah, I remember doing this a few times. Because the game only counts us walking forwards as actually putting weight on this thing and not like uh, hanging from the ceiling, <laughs> which would actually put. A... Okay, never mind. <laughs> well, whatever was in there, we're not getting it now. It might just be a red herring. Yeah. Uh... Was too close. Let's be a little more careful where we step, shall we? All right. 
What did I hear just there? Hmm. I think we're, if we follow this, we go, we're going to end up in there anyways. So... I keep pressing zero instead of nine. Oh, and that is a lot of brightness. If, yeah, this leads directly into here. Zero of nine. Okay. Um. Yeah, I. And now I know for sure I heard a spider there. So where it is? That is the question. Oh, there it is. Hello there. Actually, we haven't tried this out yet. Uh -oh. the, the fire staff, which deals more damage to flash targets, like, say, fucking spiders. And why did it switch to this robo there? There we go. Okay. Now only a mana potion, not really too worth it. And we can chuck that out, since we have a better staff. Any more spiders to deal with? Huh. There's been fighting here, but who? Why? Let's see. Logbook. Ragnophilic Temple Cliff Sites so Official Expedition Logbook. Entries maintained by Overseer Garan, 99 YSD, Month of the Crystal Tears, 27th. Uh, despite the collapsed sections of the tank. Um, Despite the collapsed sections of the temple mount along the cliffside, our team has successfully accessed the upper temple thanks to the discovery of a natural joint fissure in the cliff face. Initial surveys of the top uh, of the central tower suggest that the astral channeling system uh, lacks an eldritch, uh, lacks an eldritch uh, power source at the cap of the shafts. Month of Crystal Theus 28th. Several of the ropes to the upper temple snapped whilst ho well while hoisting surveying equipment shortly after a high sun. Sadly, Apprentice Darcia was caught underneath the surveying equipment and was killed instantly. With luck, the joint visor in the cliff face may, provide wide, uh, may prove wide enough to install a lift for larger equipment and safer travel to the upper temple. Okay, the 30th. Our survey teams have detected a magical energy source similar to uh, one in the temple of Aura. There must be some sort of immensely powerful crystal inside the vault on the northern branch of the upper temple. Unfortunately, the vault is guarded by numerous traps. Okay, Month of Dancing Flame, the second. Lady Anna has returned with materials for the lift and word from Master Menelag on how to proceed as regards the buried crystal. Apparently, Master Menelag feels the dig site has proven too costly in terms of lives and will seek counsel back in the city before we proceed. The next day... When surveying the central tower shaft, journeyman Largo, whose anchor pulled free from some rotten masonry, he fell over 80 meters to his death. Lady Diana is presiding over the funerary services in his absence. Uh, month of Dancing Clinch 5th. The Lady Diana has made significant uh, progress on her research into the ritual of commands utilized in opening the crypts. Then the 13th. The lifts using Manalog's levitation devices have been installed at several points along the cliff face to aid in transporting larger equipment to the upper temple. 17th, Lady Yana left for home to resupply and to recruit reinforcements. They are due to return in several days. 21st, apparently one of the local Coblin traps is squatting in the ruins on the far side of the ridge. Captain Jansen and Master Turgon have left to retrieve an extra complement of guards to deal with the potential disturbance. Then the 24th, this day has been a disaster. The entire lower camp has been slaughtered and our prospects look grim. My best guess is that there were more than the goblins there were more of the goblins than we had imagined, and they overwhelmed the sentries before they could sound the alarm. Those few of us working up on the cliff managed to jam the lifts in time to protect the upper temple. We then barricaded ourselves here inside the Acolytes' quarters. Cordo and Hestia are wounded and bleeding badly. There's nothing I can do for them. And I do not think they will last the night. I pray we can hold out until Lady Liana or Master Turgon return with help. The 26th, we have gone from the crucible into the flames. Neither Lady Liana nor Master Turgon has retur have returned, and to make matters worse, a force of orcs have slaughtered the goblins. 
They have lit a flame underneath the acolyte's quarters and have thrown noxious herbs on the fire. I fear we are to be poisoned. The fumes are filling the room, and but we cannot leave lest we expose ourselves to their archers. The very air grows thick and noisome. Okay. So, this is where Menelag's expedition made its last stand. I'll bet they're the ones who blocked the elevators to keep the orcs out. That's literally what it said in the book. So, I'm not pay attention. Ooh, book about demons. Oh? Mm, wait, I'm seeing two corpses here. It sounds like they were three. Hmm. Okay, we'll take a look at the book after we've checked up here. Yep, uh, 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 a bit st <laughs> got stuck inside of the wood there for a bit. That is one of the drawbacks of having a physical uh, body in a game, is that you can sometimes glitch into stuff. Hmm. Or wait. Okay, I, I see what happened to the third body. Yeah. Now then, a book about demons. Okay. Um, it would probably have left more damage, but it has, seems to have been devoured. So maybe the spiders? Let's see. Maybe. <laughs> Those who dwell in the other world come from a realm of heat and flame, a kingdom where the body has no meaning in a sea of endless pain. It is a bottomless pit of constant consumption, a parasite among worlds lacking the life to, suspend, to sustain itself. Its inhabitants and the very fabric of its weave are eternally hungry, driven without reprieve to draw their sustenance from elsewhere lest they devour themselves and wink out of existence. Tragically, a foolish conjurer tried to bring forth a power from the other world at some point in the distant past, uh, granting the demons a glimpse of our plane. Now they lost for the energy, the vitality, the stability that we take for granted. They scratch and claws at the corners of our world, seeking a way to escape their own and feast here anew. Yet through the efforts of the Seven Dragon, those who dared sojourn into our world are imprisoned forever, bound by sacred magics and held powerless throughout the ages. But there is a means of escape, even if they are merely phantoms and spirits in our world. The weak of will, the cowardly and the simple, the foolish and the greedy, all of these can volunteer to let the demon spirit inhabit their flesh. The demon promises power, glory, and other favors, but the bargain is a hellish one indeed. Those weak souls who agree to be, uh, to who agree, are as kindling to them, firing an inter inner con the conflagration that leaves the uh, person's gutted shell hosting the demon in a permanent form upon our lands. Such an abomination is powerful, deadly, and desperate. Where it will do anything, offer anything, and kill anyone in order to avoid being stricken from this plane. Beware the whispers of these succubi, for they offer nothing but the flame and the pit. Okay, that gives a bit more of a reason than most uh, demons typically get in games, and where they just want to do evil stuff because, yeah, they are evil. But they all, they all that as well, but they have a reason for it as well. Let's see. But they do take pleasure in tormenting you. Do you think the orcs should be keeping it up? Orcs aren't stupid. Give it a try. There we go. Hold on. Okay, I was half expecting a fire trap or something. Oh dear. Uh, and also, I, I bought something special recently. I'm not eating in years. No. Basically, I'm, I am to become propolicit. I'm gonna eat some worms. Okay. Gummy worms. Oh. Just a... <laughs> the heck is that? <laughs> Giant fork? Uh, it might be for uh, the coal, or it might be to lift up a crucible. You know those uh, things that may have uh, very hot metal? Yeah, like these. Yeah, just a small variant without a crane. Let's see. I think if we do this, we're just going to get another long sword out of this. I believe at some point we can find some of that flame gold to make a, a special weapon, but not yet, I believe. 
Now, I do like this, that they, the mold is in the water bath and then the water just rises over it. That's, that's pretty clever, if you ask me. Maybe? Then again, I'm no master swordsmith or anything. Okay. And if no, we put it... I know smiths yeah. usually prefer a bucket, since... Hey, here's, a, here's a thing. When you are to quench it, that's the point you see if you force the braille good bad for... If you quench it and it bends, you need to start all over. Yeah. Let's see. We can just go back this way. That looks like an abyss, so let's not fall into that. <laughs> There's nothing... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, one? Uh, I was going to say there's nothing overhead that we can put a rope bear arrow in. So, yeah, there's no need to go there. Okay, and right, we're going to forget. The only sword that's okay for to bend is katanas, but it bends in the right way. You don't want to bend it in the wrong way. Yeah. Okay. Now we just have to backtrack to where the lift is, I believe. Uh, let's see. Find the crystal chamber, take the stairs back to the elevator, yep. So, one of the few cases where we actually have to backtrack. Or maybe the only one in the game. I don't remember if there's any other times where we have to backtrack. We have the ability to, uh, but there's no real need to. Hmm. Yep. Sarah's! <laughs> He just let go of the freaking rope and wanted him to jump. First, uh. I, thought, first I thought you were to just walk off the cliff by accident. No, no, no. You, you, forgot, you forgot to hold on to it, instead, the rope instead. Okay, let's fix that a bit. Can we... I'm trying to put it in a branch here, or are those just not physical enough? Doesn't look like it. I know for a fact that you can put a... Oh wait, just, no, that can't be that. Now we can jump to that, but I, I know that it's, there should be an option to use this tree to get up here with a rope arrow. Because, yeah, without it's otherwise pretty much impossible to get up here. Hmm. Is this going to sting? Like half our... Thing okay. Let me just double check a moment. Most of that is eggs. over the stone. What do I need? Am I just completely missing it here or something? Because if we put it over there, yeah, that's a bit useless to us. And again, yeah, we should just be able to jump at this. We just can't use that to get back down because apparently we get stuck on the freaking cliffside. No, no. What is this supposed to be? Hmm. Oh well. Continuing on, or rather, continuing back. And yeah, the elevator's here. I wish they decorated something other than spiders. Why a spider anyway? It's another aspect of Asha, the Dragon of Order. A very literal interpretation, honestly. This takes us to the Crystal Chamber. Once you restore the Shantiri Crystal to its place, the skull will be ours, and all of Ashan with it. Fenrig would be so impressed with what you've done. Who built this place? Servants of the Seventh Dragon. They were clever with their hands and had a thousand years to do it. So why are orcs guarding it? I guess that they took it over. They came to the islands after the Wars of Blood, and their shaman probably sensed the power of the temple. Uh, come on. Ah, ah freaking course. Uh, where are the antidotes? Okay, I guess that means the Necromas do worship a dragon? Uh, where is the antidotes? Seriously, which... There it is. Number seven. And a... 
immediately. Yep. More <laughs> spiders. Ugh, disgusting things. No wonder the necromancers like them. I did not know that could happen. This thing just yeeted itself down the fucking elevator shaft. <sighs> uh, oh, oh, I, I thought they were as good as dead, no matter what. Uh, um, do you need some help? What the? <laughs> almost uh, an almost two thousand, uh, almost twenty-year-old game, people. Uh, it, it must have got. It must have leapt at me. I, I know. When I still was, while I had this open, I noticed that one of them jumped, leapt, leapt at me. So it must have gotten stuck in the wall. <laughs> or oh, they hit, it, hit uh. inside the walls. But they were that. Give me those fire the traps. Sound. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's. Let's ditch the longsword for a bit, since we have things that do a lot more damage than it. And yeah, just put the rope bow in there instead. And yeah. Okay, that went... Yeah, the aiming seems a bit off when you're aiming upwards. Like, that went a lot higher than the reticle showed. And hello there. Hmm? Looks like you were about to toss yourself through the window. Nope. Okay. Nope. Oh, yep. There we go. Okay, we still had a bit more on that. <laughs> Quite a bit more, actually. Are you going to fall oh. or not? Don't fight. <laughs> okay. I had to ask, whose idea was to build it like this? Yeah, it was that, or dig into the stone. And that's a, also a bit harder. How does this count as a secret? The stone, uh, weakening... If ancient people made entire cities inside stone in the Middle East, I think that probably means it's much safer. Soul Reaver uh, staff. Ooh. Let's have a look at that. Where did it... There we go. Magic Infinity 3 needs steal opponent's mana on hits. Okay, would be would be decent for a full magic build. Uh, but yeah, not for us. And uh, this counts as a secret because it's out of the way. We didn't need to get up here. So let's just hope we don't shatter our knees as we try to get back down. Where can we get... Where can we climb down safely, or actually, we can make our own way down. I sort of think this is an elven magic bow. I wouldn't be surprised, and that is a bit of a jump. There oh. we go. As long as you get one foot inside, you're basically set on landing. Now then. Uh, nothing else this way. Okay. Before we continue on, I'm going to fill up on health a bit more. Because I get the feeling we're going to find more spiders. But, <laughs> but yeah, I guess that confirms that they are worshipping Asha, but just... Uh, have a different image glued over it. Yeah, for I thought the, all the humans worship the uh, dragon order. I oh. have to investigate the dragon at some point. I think I remember this part. So let's put that long sword back there for no particular reason. Let's see. If I remember right? Is it for now I guess the worship of water dragon. What the name of uh, her? 
I've got the dwarves uh, dragon for yet. Yeah, the dwarf was even a dragon. A um, fire magma one. That's a fire it's dragon. Magnificent. Except that it's dead. Bring it back to life, and we can be on our way. Wait, Go what? on. <laughs> right, I was just say, the dwarves in the in this in this universe also use lava and magma dragons in war. So yeah, don't mess with wars. <laughs> yeah, they tend to hold a grudge and kill it with fire. Yeah, but here they kill you with a you their own uh, magma fire dragons. I remember something happening here, which is why I pulled out the non-magical weapons. It's working. I can feel the power. Now let's not keep that child waiting. The sooner she gets us to the skull, the better. Get away from here! It'll kill us! Wait, what will? Yeah, this is what I remembered. Pull out the fucking sword and shield, Sarath. Yep, we, we're actually pulled into a duel with the chieftain. Oh. The problem is, of course, like you said, if you use any magic or magic items, uh, the rest will come charging in at you. Nope. Oh. So, just gotta... Oh, oh, and there we go. Finally, <laughs> it's what took like was. Four games to get into a single clash of... Out. Into a single sword clash like that. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I do like this bit. Except okay. that it's dead. Bring it back to life and we can be on our way. The, You're yeah. surprised the, the use of word he was using, call it. I can feel had, the power. Now, let's not keep that had they not realized they themselves have po demon blood? Just going to take a moment to put down a quick save. Rather, a, oh, a save. Oh, how did that hurt me? I, I do not, I do not, there is one move that the enemies have that I just absolutely hate, and that's that quick backward swipe that they sometimes use. That just comes out way too fast to really be dodged. Uh, I don't recall if we can use, yes, we can just use me healing potions still. Just no magic at all. So yeah, this might take a little bit if I can just remember to hit the right button. Right button. To heal myself. And yeah, he does hurt a lot. I
Maybe this is the point where we need some heavy armor. <laughs> um. I thought you could. I thought you, we, you could get a side step jump or something. Yeah. If. Hmm. Let's test it for a bit. I think if you use items like the lightning daggers, that the others will start will attack you as well. And I'm not attacking yet, at least. Okay, yeah, it's it's any weapon that has a magical effect, or not an ele elemental weapons are still useful. But if uh, if I <laughs> if I use that staff, that uh, would absorb. <clears throat> That would absorb magical attacks. That would be counted as, uh, yeah, breaking the rules of the duel. Oh, oh, yeah, it actually disarmed them. Oh, nice. But I would say, also, you're not allowed to use uh, like fireball and such. Yeah, of course. <laughs> huh. Are you out of tricks? Yep. You. <laughs> I say that, and he immediately punches me in the face. Okay, it'd, it'd be a bit more impressive if he, if he actually was smart enough to go after his sword. But, uh, yeah, this duel is basically over. Oh, there goes his shield. And our adrenaline is almost filled, there we go. Now, can I... Oh, that, you actually didn't die from that... Uh... Okay, that's impressive because typically it's an instant kill. Then again, he counts as a boss, so he probably has like a <coughs> a freaking boat on more damage or health than a than a normal orc. Because yeah, any other orc would have already been <laughs> dead from all of this. Okay. Yep. Wait, I, I just got the adrenaline effect, but it. No adrenaline attack. So... You should be dead by now. What the hell is going on here? Okay, one more. This should kill you, maybe. There we go. Uh -huh. That spider artifact looks like a key. Let's see where we can use... Oh, wonderful. Now, let's do what we came here to do. Yep. I do like that. If, again, if you used any sort of magic, well, except for magically, uh, some en magically enchanted weapons like the lightning daggers, they would have just come charging in and killed you, you know, tried to kill you. <coughs> but if you do win fair and square, even if we used a pair of daggers that did double damage to their leader, uh, they'll just <laughs> let you leave. And. Okay, this is a different elevator. You okay. know, Sarath, if everything else goes well, you'll be seeing your father soon. Here? What do you mean? It's hard to explain, but I'm sure he'll be here to see his fine young son claim the skull of shadows. That sounds weird. Is he some sort of wizard? <laughs> I suppose you could say that. Though I'm not sure he'd like to be spoken of that way. My father, I've never met him. Why is he so important? <laughs> He's a very powerful, very potent person. Like any powerful person, he has powerful enemies. Meaning what? Who? Well, the seventh dragon for one. Okay, this... That's what this was. This should be right next to the chamber. And 
this way. Okay. And yeah, I'll leave uh, you to brew on that line for a bit. I don't know. A door instead. Let's get the skull and be far away from here before Aaron Tier. Before Aaron Tier sticks what's left of his nose in here. You go first. Make sure that it's safe. Okay, I'd forgotten about this. Uh, that was a bit of a. <laughs> You'd think she'd have a bit more of a reaction to freaking ghouls coming charging in. Yeah, like you focus on... This game is far from perfect. And, yeah, <laughs> it already commented before on uh, the garb, or lack thereof, of the ghouls. Yeah, you know, they are rather hideous. They keep the designs in the fifth game, in the Hero of Magic 5. Just, they give them so a pair of weapons at least, they're like big claw weapons. Okay, there we go. to save her. Besides, just between us, she wasn't your type. Forget her! Run! Yes, run, you abomination. I will find you. And, yeah. I, I don't know why Sarah says that lines about what's left of his nose. The spider statue. We must get closer. There's sure to be an inscription. Something. Uh, yeah, now we're actually getting into the catacombs. Look! The spider statue. We need to get closer to see how it works. And catacombs means undead. Nah. Yeah, let's let's stick to the daggers since these do the most damage. But as is also typical of undead, they are rather, or at least with zombies, they are rather slow. So for I some reason, they have a very long reach. I was expecting mummies for some reason here. Uh, do I have to throw? <laughs> Yep, no, not I that. I on the memory of the seventh dragon. So should you, sir, considering what he did to your family. There we go. Do you just uh, throw, drop the own graves on top of them? Uh, sort of, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Got us. Uh, yeah, I'd forgotten about that. Yeah, I think you have. I think you have to knock them down and impale them. Just yeah, we, we had that at the very start of the game. We need to impale them to get rid of them. Even though that shouldn't actually do anything. Ah, the freaking zombies. Luckily, that poison can only take us down so far in health. It still makes these no less annoying to deal with. Actually. I'm going to pick up the heal spell, just so we have more methods of healing. I just remember, ain't fire whip this fire stuff better against them? Uh, we that wasn't one of the books. It's mo it's good against fleshy targets, but the, the zombies don't. Yeah. There's sure to be an inscription. Something. I recall the zombies are weak to fire. 
Uh, if they are, it isn't specific in this game. Because, yeah, they, they're mostly just old flesh and such, not as vulnerable to flame anymore. Uh, that's why I'm saying it. I thought I saw it in one of the loading screens here and in a book in this game saying that. Yeah, it said it's it said that the undead have no concept of fear and injury. It didn't really say if they are vulnerable to flame or not. Ah. We can try it out. Or at the very least, the staffs will make it easier to knock them down. Or it should, at least. Yeah, I, okay, I did not keep track of my health there. Ow! Though, honestly, the for the most, we can just avoid them. Must get closer. Sure to be an so let's start doing that. <laughs> But really, did we get hurt from that? And now we're out of healing items completely. So yeah, grabbing heal. And wait, only five health like that. Let's see. Uh, a bit more, fifteen perhaps. Either way, uh, let's see. Interred upon his glorious return. His heart was ever faithful. Okay, that's what it's saying. Shut up, Zana. Okay. But, uh, flame trap. Okay. Moon silk crystal. Okay, we need to find. Okay, we need to find three gems and put those into the, the statue. Is there anything up there? Hmm. Let's see, 20 health. Not enough mana, of course. Okay, it heals 15 health. Oops. Um, yeah, at the moment, this is our best option in at least knocking them down. Don't want to set it off too early. Okay. <laughs> Did not mean for that, but it helps. And yeah, there they go. Okay, I guess they got it crushed a bit more than last time. Ouch. Gotta be careful of that poison attack because that's actually a more dangerous than their physical attacks. Yep, yep and uh, I just realized, why are the lids still attached to the coffins of the fall? Good question. <laughs> now where is this? How do we get out of here? Do we get sort of Gate? Uh, no, there's a chain. Uh, Ropo. There we go. I'm not sure if you can. Yeah. Oop. What was that sound? I, I, I'm guessing that was the sound of one of those zombies spitting out that cloud again. <coughs> Yeah, zombie plus mess horrible, and I agree. I almost caught myself there. See the plaque? The four sockets are for four gems. Urgash knows where the vermin in these tombs might have hidden. Let's... To enter the crypt, place the moon silk crystal in the spider's head. To enter the shrine of the skull of shadows, return the three aspect gems. Matron's heart with a fallen prophet's bone. Soul of the Crone, below the tomb of he who waged the wars of blood, maiden's eyes in the walls of the crypt. So yeah, now we have to go on the scavenger hunt. Okay. And I'm guessing one... I'm guessing that is one of them, or... No, there's more of those. Okay. 
And yeah, luckily for a part of this, at least, we can get up here and to avoid the zombies below. And actually, there's something there where there's indentations where they could be hiding stuff. Not in this case, though. Oh, there's something there. Uh, telekinesis. What is that? And where did it put? Uh, soul Drinker, we've already seen that. Staff of Reflection. I look like an unused silk sword. Yes, possible. Otherwise, it would have been placed here, so it must have been something we already had. Speaking of silk sword, yeah, we need more. one more point for that. And yeah, maybe we should go for critical hits because this superior silk sword has plus six damage, um, which will be a lot. It'll be equal to the staff of the Fire Lord against flame uh, vulnerable enemies. <clears throat> but otherwise, it'll be the most damaging weapon we'll have. False, uh, false this stuff as well. Yep. Oh, got right. I forgot chain. <laughs> Hmm. Actually, we should break these. Yep. To not be able to grab what's inside. Well done. Yeah. Just well done. I wonder if the other sword fell to the floor if you weren't able to pick it up. Unless it's inside the sort of focus. Yep. And that's why it's a good idea to stay up. All right. Yeah. So we... There you are. They'll come crawling out of just about anywhere to get at us. Just stun you. There we go. Yep. <laughs> yes. Oh. Will that actually completely deal with you? <laughs> it actually does. Okay. So, something about just being angry enough <laughs> to just completely delete a zombie. I can't yeah. open this of full cough, guys. There, there, there one, uh, you're back there, that one. Can you open it? Well, it you can open it. Well, no, there's no the interaction. I believe there's a few things hidden around here every here and there. Oh, where the heck did you come from? Quick. <laughs> That's right, I mean, no, but uh, maybe behind the stone there. Um, actually, we have a bunch of these, and they're bunching up over there. Oh, come on. Uh, oh, I must have broken a bit more than just that. And it seems that fire is able of dealing with them. Or at least magical fire. You piss off. Actually... <laughs> How did it hit me two times during that? Oh, well, just the game being a bit iffy here and there. I believe some of these covers can be broken, but I'm not sure which. Oh. It's a good thing we have a lot of those freaking antidotes, huh? Yeah, what is... Why is that one lighting up? Giant button? Yep, no, that, that's one of the ones that we can break. For a magic mushroom. And nothing else. Really? Uh, something there. There's something there. 
in the hood you just made. Yep, that's okay. this one. Yep, there was, was the remains of the stone. Oh. It hadn't despawned yet. Okay. Right. There we go. Um, anything of value up here somewhere? I believe that last stone is a, a little bit out of the way that you actually have to look for it. But not too much. And I'm not sure if I've ever been over there. So let's actually take a look. And I was accidentally using a mana potion. They used to have something here. This game came out before Hero of Might and Magic 5. Really? That's the, map, the secret area? Just a little different route? Map chest. I thought it was a normal stone. Full health. Same here. That's one of my favorites. I think this game was actually an introduction to the new Hero of Might and Magic. Of the new world. Mm -hmm. if, if I remember right. I'm trying to... I know I've played a demo of Might and Magic 5, but I don't remember when that was. Could have been... Yeah, I'm not sure if that was before or after the... How uh, that was done. Yeah, now oh. it lights up, huh? Um, how do you feel? Uh, a bit pricked. Uh, yeah, this one's a lot more obvious. Dare I give you a glass of water? <laughs> yeah, it's just going to leak out. <laughs> oh. I wonder if they still do that in uh, cartoons nowadays. Those are Arantir's dogs. They must have found a way in. Um. Well, these were those uh, damn things. They all, uh, yeah, I think people wouldn't really notice how damn... How unnervingly agile and quick they are. There we go. I set off one trap and dismantle another. Chainmail, I, I think we've already found that before. Hmm. Or uh, apparently not. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have Assassin's Guard plus one. Plus two, plus one, and ten mana. Plus three. We could go for... Wait. Break parry enables flurry of blows to sometimes break enemy parry. Leaping attack, a powerful strike that will knock the enemy off balance. Jump and power strike. I'm not sure if I've ever managed to pull that off, or used it much. And whirlwind attack, a rotating attack that hits several enemies at once, killing most of them on the spot. Crouch plus adrenaline power strike. Okay. That, will, that's, that sounds pretty cool, but we're going for critical hit first. I think I saw the new sword you picked up earlier. Uh, the boat sword only the... Okay, let's take a look after this fight. Yeah. Uh, let's just uh, let's just general Kenobi this shit. Is <laughs> is hub the high ground? <laughs> <laughs> that was who? <laughs> no, zombie. Oh, it's crawling that out. That's a ghoul. <laughs> ah. uh, this one came crawling out of the crypts. Oh. Out of this. It's for you. Ow. <laughs> okay, come on. Yeah, even those ghouls limp when they are almost dead. Miss. It's because they're not having their typical hand weapons. Otherwise, they'd be like... Ghoulish Waldos. Uh, yes, I mean Waldo for Soul Calibur games. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, I I put a, a bot into into the chat, one that's actually welcome for one. Uh, I'm just keeping it. I'm 
taking a look on the side every now and then to see if it's not glitching out or something. And, yep. Yeah, we've... <laughs> I know. Okay, someone uh, was very particular about reserving their spot. Um, wait, hold on. Look, look at the dagger. Yeah, it's stuck in the freaking sky, in the freaking eye socket. More zombies. Is there actually Please. anything else in there? I suspect no. uh, that person was murdered and really wanted that dagger to stay in the eye socket. Okay. Okay, we can lockpick that. For a moment, I thought we'd need a special key or something. Just an antidote, okay. Nothing in all of that. Um, hmm. Let's see, we came from there. That is the other way in. Hmm. Probably could have gotten on top of those. Hmm. Is there anything hidden back there? Because I... Wait. Did that only do two damage? Okay, that one did ten damage. Okay, now I'm just stumbling around like an idiot. Wait. What? Oh, we... We were supposed to go this way. The traps is <laughs> extra. Hmm. I think I remember one of the stones being in here somewhere, but I either I'm misremembering or we're just completely missing them. Go. I'm dead down. Okay. I, I might be wasting some... I might just be wasting time with these zombies. Since, well, they're slow enough to generally be dodged. So let's just do that unless they corner us. Hey, can we lure those into the spy traps? We could. Yeah, but there's none here. Let's see. What's... Okay, this is just all collapsed. And, okay, now there's just more and more coming. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh. they need returning greater numbers. One of them did their gas attack. Yes, people, the Star Wars yokes are, ki are keeping rolling here. Okay. Oh. I th yeah, that's that's going to be one of the gems. It stands out way too much. And there's a chest up there as well. Behind you. Up. Yeah. This is... Yeah, this is an arena. Yeah, all right. Before I forget. Uh, inventory. Hmm? Do, you, do you see the sword that looks like a broadsword on the, the, the bow in your taskbar? Or on, under your... You, you know, you see the combat skill? Below that, there's a bow, and below that is a broadsword. Under that. Yeah. Let's see, we have poison bow, longbow... This, the soul drinker we've already found before. Oh. Oh, oh come on. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you were you were holding the bow, the right bow, where the soul was under. Yeah, okay, it was actually a double kill on that one. Um. The maiden's eye, an artifact of fate and doom. It's nearby, somewhere above us. Oh, oh come on, freaking! Rooms. These zombies need a freaking tic tac. <laughs> no, I think they need a hint of tic tac. <laughs> I have stamina. 
actually really it's twice now that dropping a statue on something hasn't worked well it's it's knocked down but <laughs> you're have those spiky things to kick them into <laughs> The problem is getting him into position first. Get up. I'm not going to try and risk stabbing those. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, you're busy with one and then the other just starts spitting at you. Combat staff, we've already gotten better staff. Actually, I see this here. I get the feeling we're going to run out of antidotes at this rate. Come on. That one's stuck on the statue. Uh, well, that was disappointing. You just a little bit closer. Actually, with them all up here, there. Let's shut up, Sana. We already know it's up there. It's freaking obvious. <sighs> it, did just the zombie kick you? No, it clawed. Okay, what did what just decide to die. kick you back? Artifact of fate and doom. It's nearby, somewhere above us. There we go. One maiden's eye. And let's just stop wasting time here. Oh, oh come on. Okay. Wait. We can't get it yet? Oh, oh. I guess we need to fill up melee combat completely before we can go to critical hits because we have enough points don't we six six yeah but we should be able to get it uh, well melee combat three then and yeah it seems that Xana is going to be like a <clears throat> a compass for if we're close to those uh, gems Ooh. That's going to make her useful for one thing at the very least. <laughs> there we go. I believe there's a secret up there. Basically anywhere that it has. Come on, Sarath. Those were ghoul noises. Uh, wait, that killed it? How did that kill it? I, I guess it must have glitched a bit, bouncing between the walls there. So, yeah, there's something up there. So, again, wasting a mana potion by accident because I want to get the rope bow. Hmm. Oh, it's up here, not there. Okay. Um, any traps? Yep. <laughs> Got a bit of distance. There we go. Now, what have we here? Sword of the Dragon Claw. Strange. It makes me feel uneasy. It's unpleasant to lift it. Those are evil, dangerous weapons, Sarath. Weapons of the Dragon Knights. They were holy fanatics, in league with the Seventh Dragon when he tried to murder your father.
It's sort of Dragon Claw requires strength 3, which we don't have, plus 9 damage and 18 against undead creatures. Made his battle tested weapon of the legendary Dragon Knights bring glory to Ash's name and death to enemies. And we're shut in. Oh, actually, we're not. That's still. Beware. And of course, more zombies. Oh, what have we here? Shiny. Ring, Ring of Arcane Billions. We've already chucked one of those out. And, and of course, more freaking zombies. This place really is just infested with the things, huh? Makes sense. It's a ow, catacombs. Again, I take damage, but I don't seem to actually lose health. Oh, that, that part actually pushes out. Okay. I hadn't noticed that before. And um, where's our way yeah. out then? Uh, there we go. <clears throat> Just gotta make sure that we don't get hit in the back whilst we're doing this. And there. Now, continuing on. Yep, of course. Luckily, it seems that if an enemy gets shocked, that they also yep, become easy to knock down. So yeah, these these daggers are really useful. Yeah, it's a bit of lighting. It, oh. it isn't lit up well enough. Yeah, what about the what was the chest suddenly appeared? Oh, well, um, I mean not chest. Um, Sarcophagus? Yeah, that's the... I see you down. Uh, getting up already. Enough. Yeah, I, it, it was going to... <laughs> it was going to spew that poison breath. We'll have none of that. Okay. The, the lighting can be a bit off every now and then. One down. Yep. Come on. Yep. Better not be more of these things spawning. Yeah, at this point, I'm just going for the adrenaline kill. Can I? Why is this particular zombie getting up so quickly? There. Now get out of this world. I guess we have something. Hmm? Why are you using lightning daggers while fighting in water? Uh, decent point. <laughs> What is that going to open up? Oh, that, that's just going to open up the entire freaking wall. Uh, first, we have something here. I pressed the tick button instead of the use button. And that actually a hidden, that's actually a hidden passage instead of <laughs> a little loot box for us. Hmm. That's where we came from. And what's that's hidden here? Interesting hand pose you had there, there a bit mo a moment ago. Trying to do kung fu. <laughs> oh. Uh, anything we can throw? Yeah, it's trying to line. It was trying to line up with something there. Um, what if we just pull something over? Not enough mana. No, it just automatically adds it to our inventory. Hmm. 
Earth Fire Shield. Increase your protection from fire based attacks once equipped. Indestructible. Okay. Bye bye, Stone Helm Shield. And, yeah, that's, we've already saw that one. Uh, wait, why are these. Why are these not stacked? Yeah, might as well use up one then. Let's see, is there where is something we can throw? Uh, I don't think that can be opened any further, Sarath. <laughs> okay, can we just sneak around the fire trap, perhaps? Right. Can we shoot it, perhaps? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, this is going to sting. Or not. Okay, I thought they had a wider range of being set off. Let's see, freeze, fireball, and health. That reminds I should be using the I should be using the freeze spell a lot more. Since well, I've, I've already shown how effective it can be at knocking things down. Oop. And that was just us sliding over. Oh. Okay, that should have <laughs> that should have killed us most likely. Yeah, what the heck? Uh, uh, oh, Ilian? Yeah. Oh, oh, come I on. I think I know where we are. We're up front. Yep. <laughs> okay, this place is a maze, if I remember correctly. Not, luckily, not a big one. Um, but I do think that one of the gems is somewhere around here. Oh, it reminds oh. me, I did, I did mention once in a, a chat the with you and others. That's what that vile cold is. Okay. What do you see? I had a random thought and I also saw people around. Oh, with Ilian and... Yeah. Idea of a, a few necromancers going to the crypts in Paris will be horrifying. Yeah, I, I think you said that in the, the previous stream as well. And I, I remember in, something here. Not even stream, but I think I mentioned it in just in our hub chat. Hmm. But not on stream. But yeah. I think there's about... I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, come on. My info is not about that bad. But I think there's about... I million or more skeletons in the crypt. So, yeah. A few necromancers in those French crypts, and there's basically an invasion force. Yeah, we found ourselves a bit of a boss fight, I believe. Fuck off. We're leaving the jewel behind. Was that it? That was not enough. Yep. But apparently that was. <laughs> okay. Not entirely sure why they keep by a lich would have a crypt here unless it recently respawned or something or reformed. Were they, he was just the guardian of the Yule? No, yeah, that's most likely, and uh, we've already found one of you. Now then, mana, fireball, lightning. I don't think there's anything else around this room. Maybe a few potions in the flask in the urns and such but yeah that <laughs> for a lich that was a rather easy kill 
surprisingly easy for a boss fight even. Like, we had a zombie that was tougher than him. Yeah. Then again, we were actually smart enough to kick this guy down the freaking stairs. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I've I've never I've never claimed that this game is perfect or so. But I just really like the combat, which makes it one of my favorites. <laughs> now then, um, Dane, will you let me turn more that way? And yeah, that's two gems down, one to go. And you got four, more skill points from that. Yeah, we need one more to get critical hits, so we can finally uh, play the samurai. Oh, come on. There we go. It reminds me a bit of lore about the Naga. For the Naga samurai and Kensai and such have always about... Uh, Two pairs of sword, basically four swords. I sense another gem, the matron's heart. Quickly, it represents life and birth. Right, yeah. I was say, the Nagas always have a four pair of swords, four swords. Two that are used on land, and two that are used for underwater. Okay, that is new. Yeah, for they have a. They, 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 only few people are skilled enough to make a sword that's skillful that can be used on the underwater and on top water. And the announcers are very honorable people. These ghouls really just sound like panting dogs, don't they? Okay, come on. Here, puppy, puppy. Have they just not noticed us? Hello? There we go. They, they sound like dogs. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Bad dogs. Bad dogs get skewered. <laughs> oh, another. Come on, come on. Wait. Ice! Good boy. Couldn't we use ice to trick them into that? Doesn't really look like we need it. Come on, come on. <laughs> Hold up. Yep. Okay, you're going down. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I think it's still alive, though. I think I still hear it. Probably they ain't swelling up a storm at you. The, the heck? The voodoo doll? <laughs> Tied That's down? Strap? Okay. I think so was practicing to be a torturer, perhaps. No, then. Okay, I... I'm guessing the gem is down there because that's giving up a very obvious glow. Is there anything else we can find around here? Hmm. There's, there's probably a secret or two hidden around in this area since there's a lot of wood that we could put arrows into. Okay, where is this going? Another plaque. Grenadine Arch Revelator. Okay. Oh. What is... Okay, that's, that's just a bat. For a moment I thought, the hell is that? <laughs> okay. Chainmail armor, we've already found that at least I think worry, twice Sarah. now. You can jump as long as you hit the water. Shut up, Sana. Hmm. 
There we go. There. Okay, yeah, this this tomb has fallen down. Uh, what? <laughs> Plane trap. Didn't you notice what's glowing red? Uh, I was noticing the orange glow, not the not a trap glow. Oh. Nope. Okay, your inventory is full in order to be able to pick up it. Okay, I've never had that really pop up, mostly because I just chuck out most of the stuff that is of no use. Maybe eat the mushroom? Might as well. Never, <laughs> never mind. Okay. That's why the mushrooms were different stacked. Yeah. You write it in and stack up. Yeah, okay. one is good and one is bad. Come on, pick it up. Don't kick it into the water, Sareth. Speaking of the water, actually, is there anything hidden here? Well, there's the potion we kicked in, but nothing else from the looks of it. Okay. Now we have all three of the gems. So let's just get out of here. Also, we can now get critical hits. It also unlocks the Silk Sword. So this is going to be an absolute first for me as well. Okay, looks pretty good. And let's see, this way. Okay, this is a bit much on the stuttering with the going up. Well, yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah, that 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 crit was probably up here somewhere. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and then, just like us, fell down here at some point due to the place crumbling down. We just have a live demonstration of. Yep. All right, third time the charm, going up these freaking stairs. Yeah, I can see, I can definitely see someone getting motion sickness from getting, doing that too much. Okay, odd, we can't do the floor of your blows move with this. Yep. Okay, what the heck, what was different there that, that time? I was clicking it, or maybe not fast enough, perhaps. Anyways, immediately proven wrong. What else is new? Uh, maybe you should use those wooden rods next to you instead. Uh, I, I think we can just move along. We can get back up here and then just jump to it. All right. There we go. And... Oh, now this puts us right back at the start. Good design. Just leading it all the way around. So... Oh. Sarath? I can see you. Oh, what's happening? Okay, I'd forgotten that. It must be the gems. They're doing this. The skull is closed now. Can't you feel it calling to you? The final gem, Sarath. It draws us together. Can you feel me in your blood like fire? Oh yes, my prince. We will be together. Forever. Okay. I compliment the game's animations a lot, but that one looked a bit awkward. Yeah, it was it was being a, too stuttery with it. And again, it was probably meant to be uh, meant to look a bit dreamlike. Either way, we're done with this freaking place. So. 
beyond that door. Oh, can you sense it? There it is. Uh, um, charming statue. Freaking chorus, we couldn't get rid of these stupid spiders <laughs> one final time that they come and piss us off. Yeah, okay, do I have yes I I have plenty of fireball spells. So Oh yeah, that, that was something that I forgot to say, but the, you can control the fireballs the same as the fire darts. So I can do that. And send it into their backs. Uh, come on. Uh, what the heck was that one doing? I'm also really your guardians for this uh, powerful artifact is a bunch of spiders. <laughs> Did you run out of the big boys? Well. I guess that they had a co had concept of the bigger versions yet, like uh, their own versions of uh, Driders. One more. It looks all right, terrifying. Come on. It, this is making the, the fireball spell look really weak if it can't even kill a bunch of freaking spiders. And again, I get the feeling they might have had their health buffed. Nope. Uh, Perhaps the fire screws are weaker compared to the fireballs you threw yourself. Also likely. Come on. Yeah, that that killed them before. Why also, would why did one of them or something? I, I have no idea. And now there's also little spiders running around. Great. Um. There we go. Oop. Okay. Why did that one just? I'm guessing they got themselves... Yeah, it, it probably got fricked at that by the freaking blade here. Also, you! Uh, ceased to exist? <laughs> I think it was supposed to shatter, but instead it just got... <laughs> removed from reality. Oh, uh, I see it now. Yeah, the... These aren't normal spiders, they're conjurations or something. Is that it? Nope. That's where they're tougher. They're holy spiders? As much as that is something I hope to never say again. Or unholy, oh, whatever. About that? Oh, holy spider! And I forgot the lyrics. Vengeance. We have waited for you. You are the 
one foretold by the wizard Sar Shazar, the dark messiah of ancient prophecy. You, my son, and my heir, the herald of fire and of blood. The creature that accompanies you is yours. Use her as you see fit. Take up the skull of my ancient enemy and shatter the prison that holds me. This, my son, I command you. And once I am free, this world and every soul in it will be ours. Shadows is not for the likes of you, Demon Spawn. The seventh dragon did not sacrifice himself so that some demon's bastard could undo all his labors. I do this for the sake of all Ashan. The prophecy of the Dark Messiah ends here. Messiah, and arise. Sarath, my love, can you hear me? Uh, what happened? Parentir killed you. I used the energy of the skull to revive you. I feel different. Not surprising. We're joined even more closely, and some of my powers are yours to command. Where's Arantir? Gone with the skull. We'll have to hurry to stop him. Stop him? I'm going to kill him. Oh. The orcs took all your equipment. They thought you were dead. Let's show them that they've made a little mistake. Yep, that's the reveal, which honestly is a bit too hinted at, with uh, you getting called demon spawn by multiple people. Yeah, and the wool. How she painted the dragon knights and such as villains. Yeah. Like, let's assume. Then again, it's very sword and sorcery, hand holded hint at it. Yeah. No. Yeah, we're out without our weapons for a bit, but I think we can still collect things. Why did that not float before? Hmm. Hmm. Wait, right? Didn't we? Wasn't this uh, taken from us? Why did we? Why do we have it now? Can't carry that. The orcs took my backpack. Okay, and the lightning shield. Okay, so a reason to return here. Um, I I think us having the staff again is a bit of a glitch. <laughs> uh, are you going to give it back again? Yeah, that is, that is definitely a glitch because we. I, I'm pressing tab, but that won't open up the inventory, actually. Unless it's something Zana gave you? No, what we have available with Zana is now that we can access a demon form, uh, which it didn't really say too much about, except for in the corner. Uh, basically, we can press V to enter this demon mode, uh, in, in which we can uh, deal damage with uh, just our bare fists, or rather claws. But it will drain our health while we're in it. Maybe I've forgotten that. Mm. Or wait, ain't that one of those things that people did not like? Uh, not sure, actually. Tell me about and... uh, that it's not worth using because of how much health it costs to use. A yeah, good chance of that. Come on, Sarah, get on. Stop twirling your stick and just get moving. Okay. And yeah, I'm going to I'm going to show it off, but I'll probably just never use it afterwards. Because honestly, our weapons are set themselves are good enough for dealing with most creatures that we'll find. 
Mm -hmm. There's also something else that would have uh, hinted at uh, Sarah's, Sarah being... That would have hinted at Sarah being half demon. Uh, that is, if we had tried to equip that holy sword, it would have burned us, actually. Yeah, that makes sense. It'll probably still do that if we try to equip it once we find it again. And I, yeah, that should be where our stuff is. And of course, they locked it up. Hmm. Okay, why is that oddly colored like that? Let's see. Weird. There should be another way to get in there. Freaking uh, mini spiders. What do you say? Did you notice spiders? Nope. We can luckily just kick them with our feet and kill them that way. Honestly, I hope I never move to any place that has spiders that big. So, There's not Australia. Naked, my dear. Yep. And so yeah, now we finally America. have flame gold. Not, not Australia, not F Africa, not South America, not Middle East. Basically anywhere that isn't where I live, <laughs> or general area of Europe. Wait, what? You you don't know? Hmm. All that has the biggest spiders. Uh, I know that sometimes uh, tarantulas and such get uh, moved along with oh. <clears throat> uh, with uh, banana shipments, but otherwise I don't. Uh, you took a bit to notice me. Otherwise, I think we have just normal spiders, and I'm out of stamina. I'm referring to the Dutch bridge spider. The hides on the bridge and eat people. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're bullshitting there. Yes, I am. <laughs> you, <laughs> yes, even when they're airborne, they will slip. Yep. Which is weird, it looks like he almost wants to karate kick you. Yeah. Uh, kick flips work with skateboards, not with fighting people. Wait, what's over on the ground? Uh, a corpse. Uh, we can check back there after we get our loot from here. Uh, lightning shield, stone skin and a health potion, which we can use. Uh, electrifies opponent on successful block. Yep, we're definitely equipping that. I'm going to put the rope bow instead of the flame arrow. Why have I I've been calling it flame dart the whole time. Why was that then? Some guys that had used the term flame dart, but they are kind of rare. Oh yeah, just a goblin corpse and all the zombies they've been clearing out. Yeah, I think I saw a cyclop head as well. What's that sound? Yeah, it's this this sound you <laughs> hear when you try to equip a shield. Uh, thought it was an enemy nearby for at first. <laughs> and that definitely isn't going to cause some sight issues if you look at that too much. Let's see. For we need eight skill points. We're actually only three off for getting Critical Strike 2, and with that, the superior Naga Silk Swords. Um, okay, we can just continue here. Yep. <laughs> Why did we climb up lower than the top of it? What did, oh, <laughs> just, just stools. What had the stool done you? Oh, they, I got a bit too close there and interrupted them, but yeah. Don't worry about it. Uh, 
Oh, we actually got health back from that. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, it also turns your. It does do a lot of damage. So weak. Yes, this is what my you get powers are yours to guard your shrine. Any aspect. Of you must be careful how you use them, my prince. Others will mistrust you. They don't understand. I. I. See that. Okay. But it felt good, didn't it? Oop. Yes. Okay, I might just use it more after all. Since that it was pretty damn powerful and you know, it, if we run into more zombies I'll probably use it then. Yeah, the, I noticed um, something about that. Hmm? It looked like it was straight out of uh, one of the alien games. Yeah, we. It is very, it is very similar to how a xenomorph typically goes with it. Might be a partial inspiration. But, ooh, yeah. are you gonna make it now? Yep. Oh, now yeah. we have the flame gold, so now we can make a special weapon. And I see there's a skull in the uh, for furnace. Because of course, why not? It <laughs> works. <laughs> Okay, and yeah, on second thought, this wouldn't be that useful since it would, yeah, it would technically only cool down the upper half of the mold. It would cool it unevenly. Mm, yeah, so far it just looks all the same. Going to equip that preemptively. There. And here. There we go. An earth fire sword. Chuck that out. Uh, but it requires strength too. But plus six damage and 12 against uh, vulnerable to fire. Nice. Yeah. It, I just. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with another freaking Cyclops. Yep, and uh, right. I was just to say before they interrupt me, apparently someone done a research on how much blood you would need to make a sword, since, yeah, we have iron in our blood. Yeah. And if it was about 75 people? <laughs> okay. Uh, come on. So, in theoretically, you can make sort of out of people's blood, just... Yeah, it's probably not a good idea. I'd forgotten you can actually shield bash, and I'm just going to retreat for a bit. Uh, let, no, never mind that. Actually... Uh, I think we have a metaphor for this. Stop between a rock and a whole place? Yeah, or in this case, an orc and a cyclops. Well, two uh, orcs in this case. Go. Okay. Go next. Oh, yeah. It needs to. It, it needs to charge first. Okay. Oh, you're almost dead. Come on. Still coming Come at on. me. And. A cyclops in captivity. I'm impressed. Probably guarding the exit. <laughs> yeah. I think we okay. can fight it, but um, it might be best to just try and avoid it, especially since we're running a bit low on time. Oh, yeah. Um, actually, but we have better weapons now. Yeah. And they don't. Wait, we have a lightning shield. I don't think if that thing punches us, we're probably going to go flying across the room. Just, just punch it in the eye with the shield. Easier said than done. Um. Wait, wait, what should, else should you say, do? You mama yokes against the cyclops. That's probably just making me more pissed off. 
What I am certainly going to do is make a few flea points. Places where we can just run back to for some cover. Okay, that's way too high. But this one won't be. I'm pretty sure you can't even climb get uh oh <laughs> I'm, as I was going to say, I'm pretty sure you can't even get onto a rope until it has uh, stopped moving around for the most of it. Yeah, and I, I think I saw something you can use against it, perhaps. Uh, that glyphs, you mean? Possibly. It might hurt if it were to, you know, uh, that's... Not get loose. I'm not even sure if it can come loose. Uh, but I do see quite a bit of woodwork leading to it, so maybe it can actually. And yeah, all this epic music while we're just dangling here like a scared little monkey. <laughs> okay. okay, please don't reach up. <laughs> can we land on him and stab him? Uh, I think a cyclops hide is supposed to be too thick for swords to pierce through, but we might be able to get a lucky slash at its face on the way down. <laughs> Not what I wanted there. Um... Okay. Yeah, there's the chain for the gate out. Oh, hello. Actually, uh, yeah, we still have this little bow from the very beginning of the game. We can use that to fight it. it... Yes, destroy it. Uh, you're being a bit over enthusiastic, Xana. I don't think that's enthusiasm. That looks like someone was more aroused. go we're definitely hurting it i believe there are some things in their environment that we should be able to use against it but i'm not completely sure and i don't know if i want to spend too much time running around trying to get things to drop on it oh uh right i'd forgotten about that it can actually chuck stuff at you as well um maybe we should uh, get some uh, better to shoot it from Um, we could maybe get on, yeah, we can probably get on there again. Um, oh, yeah, uh, if you hide under there, it'll do that. I don't think many games, yeah, there, some things are that this game does I don't think others really do it as much anymore in EGO these days. Uh, this is not one not oh. counting, because getting grabbed and chucked, that is decently common in games, I think. Uh. But yeah, the creatures change in the environment based on what you do. That, I don't think, happens too, uh, too much these days anymore. Oops. Um, can we just start... Oh, come on. Chucking things back at it. Actually, grab it, Sarath. Nope, that doesn't do not. That doesn't... Do, <laughs> that does nothing. Why was I trying to say that though? It must yeah, do nothing. Now would be a good time to have had some lightning spell. I'm not actually sure if what Cyclopses have as a weakness. Actually, we do have one lightning... We have one or two, yep. Scrolls of lightning bolts. Yeah. And you... It missed. Yep. Um, heal, and then we'll use the other one. Not charm, that won't do anything. Okay. 
Okay, it does hurt it. Somewhat. Nope. I think that hit it. So, oh, yes, it definitely did. Okay. Time to get your eye inspection. Yep. Yep. Did that? That? Uh, okay, I think the adrenaline attacks are rather failing lately. Okay. I'm really not sure if you can do anything with that or not. Is that it? Come on. There we go. Oh. And I think one little detail there that was probably missed is that Sarah actually cleaned off the blade. Killing a cyclops. Such potency. My wonderful Sarah. You are a worthy heir to your father. And a worthy successor. Mm, yeah. Sana very clear with hinting what she really wants, huh? Beyond getting laid. I see it's a sunny bye. Okay. Just a small test to see it. Yeah, it, it, it would make sense that it would f start falling back down. I think it if. I think the gates would fall back down if you stop rotating them every time with these. They only stop if you pull them all the way up. I've had enough of orcish tunnels, haven't you? Let's go. Do we have enough skin points now? We're one way. Hmm. I wonder if we can climb up there somehow. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not sure if you can actually really progress in the game if you get if you lose your rope bow. <laughs> like it, it is critical it is critical that you have that thing. So I'm not even sure if you can remove it from your inventory. If you can, then yeah. But it's well stored on your gameplay. That was a complete miss. Okay, I did not know arrows would actually come back down again. I I thought it would vanish into the void. It's called gravity, Helian. Yeah, that's way too high. So this is there. Uh, this people is the reason why you should never just randomly fire a gun upwards. That bullet will come down. Yeah. Same with arrows. Go. Go for it. Who wants this? Clear those orcs. Really? We'll have to do something about this place once you come into power. Let's get out of here first. Of course, my prince. Yeah. Come on. Gone from the orcs and back to the freaking spiders. Yay! Helian's favorite. Spider kebabs. This looks like the, yeah, that's probably the other side of the door with the cyclops. Actually, fuck this, we're running. Yeah, that's the other door. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some way to bring that cart down, but I'm not going to stick around and find out how, especially with those creepy crawlies after us. Okay. Yeah, let's get out yep. and have the game crash. Okay. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> Look at the time it used to crash. Yeah, just a minute short. <laughs> or less than a minute from the end of the stream. I, uh, I hope the auto say that a good spot. Yeah, it probably saved after the Cyclops died at the very least. So let's just double check. If not, I'll just 
well, run back to where, uh, run, yeah, run back to there. Uh, OBS is taking a moment to catch the game again, it seems. Yep, there it is. Okay. I've had enough of orcish tunnels, haven't you? Let's go. Yeah, okay, close enough. Oh, might as well just... Uh, no, we're not falling for this again. Quit just goes immediately to the desktop. So, yeah. <laughs> That's been the second stream of Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. And... Oh. That's the timer going off. Okay. Uh, yeah. Honestly, I I do like it that uh, you're the uh, that that you're the Dark Messiah, even even if it is rather blatantly uh, heavily hinted at. And yeah, Xana is just too much with the uh, evil act. If if she if her writing had been a lot more subtle with it, then it probably would have been a bit uh, a much yeah, much more of a surprise. And yeah, technically speaking, Erentir is at the very least an anti-hero, not an anti-villain, because yeah, he he's fighting against <laughs> he's fighting against a demon, even if uh, he's still a freaking murderous necromancer about it. Yeah, I have to check up what's with the necromancers. For in both game versions of the old and the newer one. Necromancers and demons don't get along. Yeah, but, but that's the same here. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said all the new version. The only the only game where they were allied were in Heroes of Might and Magic Four, which was still in the old lore. Just yeah, they went way experimental with things there. Okay, in that way, it sort of makes sense. Uh why in this game it would make it would make it seem like the necromancers are allied to the demons since well like we said uh, like you said it's likely that it's it's probable that my heroes of might magic 5 came out after this yep. so yeah when this game launched then most of the fans would probably still presume that the necromancers and ally demons were allied we say or not they hate each other very much Though, no, there's something about the Necromancers I have to read of why they also host that to all others. Mm -hmm. Or they seem to be, for balance, just uh, fanatically about it. Yeah. Hmm. All right, then. Uh, at the very least, it seems that the bot hasn't glitched out or anything in the chat. Um, it's one of those... Uh, now it announces like every so often uh, about uh, Discord and such. Uh, it gives the links for that sometimes. Uh, this one is used a lot. It's called Nightbot. You may have seen it pop up in other streams. And I'll try not to make too much use of it, not to add too much stuff to it. But at the very least, it should be functional. <clears throat> okay. Um, anything else to add in, Drakir? Not beside I need to read up my lore on here of my the magic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Um, yeah, tomorrow we'll be continuing with um, <laughs> Monkey Island 2. Then on Saturday, uh, on, no, on, not on Saturday, on Sunday, we'll have uh, four more games to cover with Showcase Sunday. I haven't, I know the first one, I'll just need to double check on the uh, other three and if they work, of course. But beyond <laughs> that, we'll be continuing with this game next week. Yay! Uh, hopefully with my lighting a bit better fixed as well. Um, but yeah, until then though, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you especially to Tier. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, until next time, have a nice day. And until then, be safe, folks, and watch out for spiders.